today, guys, just so you know, we're going to be doing a deep dive, a deep dive into Urban Nation's market stats that just came out, I think, two days ago. Um, Urban Nation, for anybody who doesn't know who they are, they were founded approximately 40 years ago, almost 40 years ago. They are the authority, hands down. They are the authority when it comes to GTA market stats, insights, analysis. I, I want to really emphasize how long they've been doing it for Simo. So that's yeah. important, man. It's been 40 years. It's not like they've been around for a decade. Like I'm talking four decades. Yeah. They've been they've been bringing bringing us the stats. Now it is it is a password protected site, but go check out their site. Like I think there's some that's there's right. some there's stuff on data. Tons there's of data tons of data, data, but. Luckily for us, our brokerage here, big, big shout out to also Christopher Slidom, Jeffrey Slidom, Sam Hewitt here at Royal LePage Signature. They pay, I think, $80,000 or something a year to get the actual insights. And we have them here today. You're going to easily be able to get a copy, Tyler or Stephen. Big shout out to Stephen Rochester as well, who's manning the ones and twos for Simos and I here today on Brunch with REC, something he does every other Saturday. You're going to you're going to be able to get this report. We're going to be discussing it. My thoughts on it. Simos's thoughts on it. Very easy to get. Just text Urban Nation. Text Urban Nation to 647-372-0126. I think that's the number. Stephen, just double check for me. Text Urban Nation to 647-372-0126. You'll have the link to this report. It's a detailed report on what's been going on in the GTA market. But before we go th do that, Simos, like we need to give a big congratulations to 20 of our insiders, man. Well, I think it was just going to carry. The reason we're doing this today is mm -hmm. we actually had a schedule to follow. Uh, and the schedule got interrupted based on your feedback. And this is why it's so important that you keep piping in and letting us know what's relevant to you. We had over two dozen REC insiders yep. in the last, what, two weeks? Well, since last... Uh, brunch, so a week and a half ago, exactly two weeks. Yep, yep. To put it into perspective, all these brave, all these committed, determined real estate investors initiated a deal. They made a step towards growing their portfolio once again. Many of them went into the resale income property route. Many of them, actually over two dozen specifically that you're referring to, went and added a pre-construction unit to their portfolios. But all of them had key data requests and we do nothing without data we do nothing without data you can go you can lock up a property as you should but you never go firm you never move forward without literally analyzing it and making sure that not that it's good making sure that it's good for you and it's and, the right investment that in your portfolio and, and, right and that's what we've done we believe that's what we've done different there is not a single client that we serve that hasn't gone through the REAP process, the real estate action plan. Very easy to set up. Just let us know in the comments or shoot Tyler an email, uh, info at recanada.com, REAP, which is uh, the R REC's real estate action plan. That, uh, you know, it, and, and it, the it, request it, was, sorry, to finish your sentence. Sorry. And, and based on Jazz's, the entire team's conversation with every single client, they were asking for the crystal ball. Yeah. So what's happening? Are we good? COVID this, COVID that, pandemic, economy. What's going to happen? Who's going to pay back these trillions of dollars in debt? If we had crystal balls, we pull them up. Right. And and I have. You know what I mean? Like I have a crystal ball. I pull it out every well, the so ball, often. The head, the head is very shiny today. I mean, I mean, Stephen put the lights on in here. Like it does look like a little crystal ballish up there. But until it actually starts working, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to turn to the experts. And as as Jazzy was saying, this is a forty a company that's been in business for forty years, providing excellent, amazing data. Uh, Sean Hildebrand, who is uh, the CEO of that company, is a good friend of Royal Page Signature and the REC. Yep. Uh, in it's that's what we pay for. The data is one thing. The actual expert interpretation that we can rely on as your go to for advice is what we pay for. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to actually gonna interpret the data. We're not going to just give you stats. We want right. to go deep into them. And 
Guys, this is Brunch with REC, where real estate conversations happen. Pipe in in the comments with your questions. I'm monitoring that. I'm going to do my best to bring up as many questions. I think Stephen also let me know before we started that majority of the questions will pop up on the screen. We'll answer them. Have conversations with yourself. Start connecting with each other. Press the share button under to the right of your screen right now where you're watching. Bring in your families. Bring in your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues, and let's have some conversations around real estate. I did want to go back and acknowledge again, though, our 20 people that went into contract and moved forward are in the process of moving forward with that condo launch that we did uh, two weeks ago in uh, uh, um, Toronto here. We also had some people move into another condo project as well. Just a big congratulations to everyone. But what also came out of that, Simos, was the fact that some who got kind of caught up in the hype, and that happens. We've been doing this for 16 years. We've yeah. done enough events. We've done enough webinars. There, we there's know nothing wrong with there's nothing. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I like that you. You know, there's a sign above my head right now that says "Ready, Fire, Aim." You get like tie up property and then do the due diligence. There's nothing wrong with that. But some of their comments were like, oh, "I didn't know what your process was in terms of due diligence." And so, Stephen, do me a favor. I just put up a brand new uh, animation. Yes, you heard it right. You know, there's a little nostalgia around cartoons around here. Um, but there's an animation that I Who just put you? up on Instagram that actually explains our process. How do we go from 50 to 60 projects that come to this desk? How do we narrow it down to six to eight of them a year. And the process is all in that Instagram post I put up in the morning. It's getting tons of shares. I think you're going to get a lot of value from that. I also want to quickly give a shout out to Bobby Pume. I see him here in the comments and everyone else on our team. But let's dive into this, brother. Let's dive into the Urban Nation report. Make sure, Stephen, that you mentioned somewhere in the comments as well um, or on the screen how the how everyone who's watching right now can get this report. All they got to do is text Urban Nation to that number. Simos, Urban Nation says sales volumes nearly double last year, okay. essentially double. It's 97%. Let's so, call it 100%. Let, let's set a baseline. No. We're, we're comparing March to March. Uh, it is now what? April 20, what, 24th? 24th, 24th today. April 24th. Yeah. This is the data that has come out to compare March 2020 <sighs> to March 2021. Yeah. So it is the very first official month inside the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So no, everybody... Last year, they said 14 days to flatten the curve. Yeah. It's turned out to 365 days and counting. Yeah. So I don't want to talk about the pandemic, but I want to talk about the real estate market now can be tracked year over year inside the pandemic. A full year can be tracked. Mm -hmm. And we know what happened in the pandemic. We know in what order it happened. And now we can compare apples to apples. March was an anxiety-ridden month in July in um, in 2020, meaning we were getting bombarded with the news of this new virus that nobody had ever heard of that was killing people. It's spreading across the globe. Anxiety, chaos, don't know what to do, shut the economy down. You could have literally shot a cannon down Young Street and it would have hit no one. <laughs> right across, um, I mean, any of the major urban any, centers. Right? Any of the major centers. Mm. So we are comparing March... To March a year in, th there's no argument that in March 2021, with variants and being introduced and thousands of cases again, so we didn't get better, everything's gotten worse, but I'm, I'm not focusing around the negativity of it, but people have evolved around it. People are not lined up for toilet paper anymore. Not this time around. Not this time around. Are people respecting the virus? I believe they are. I believe... Our team is, our brokerage is, everyone else we know is. We we come in here for literally two hours within our bubble. No touch. Like Everybody is starting to live with the virus. Everybody's starting to be able to stay at home, go out for the essentials. Everybody is buying real estate. Well, I mean, everybody is buying real estate. So they see nobody's going to allow, and I'm talking about the savvy, knowledgeable people. 1.5, 1.7 interest money. The cost of borrowing is so low. The lack of inventory is so apparent that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the prices have pressure. They're going to continue to evolve. And we're going to speak directly to where we're going to see a taper off and what you should be doing and how you should be analyzing the data. That's what we're here to do. 
But for the first time in a year, we're comparing pandemic inside the pandemic, and we can make knowledgeable moves with confidence armed with approach. <laughs>